Assalamu alaikum friends. Today in this video lecture, I'm gonna talk about the basic rules for design of RCC column because many civil engineering students, they are asking about this topic that sir, what's the basic rules for design of RCC column? So let's start in this video. If this video is helpful for you, so don't forget to like this video and also subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates. First of all, I will tell you that design of RCC column is depend on the structure load. But here the first one is, Many civil engineering students, they are asking that, sir, what's the minimum size of RCC column? But I will tell you that size of RCC column is also depend on the structure load, right? But remember guys that minimum size of RCC column should not be less than 9 by 9 inches or 225 mm by 225 mm. It should not be less than 9 by 9 inches, right? You can see the first one here. Minimum size of RCC column should not be less than 9 by 9 inches or 225 mm by 225 mm with 4 numbers of steel bar, right? Must use 4 number of steel bars and the size of RCC column should not be less than 9 by 9 inches. Now guys, the second rule is also very important because many civil engineering students, they use 10 millimeter dia of longitudinal bars in RCC column, but it's wrong. Use minimum 12 millimeter of dia of steel bars and don't use more than 50 millimeter dia of steel bar in RCC column. Use 12 mm minimum, but don't use more than 50 millimeter die of steel bar in RCC column. You can see the second one that column longitudinal bars should not be less than 12 millimeter dia. It must be 12 millimeter dia, right? It should not be less than and it should not be more than 50 millimeter. Use between 12 mm to 50 millimeter, right? It's very important. Now the third one is use minimum M20 grade concrete. I saw many people they are using M15 grade of concrete in RCC column but use minimum M20 grade of concrete okay it's the basic rule for design of column if you want to design your column so I recommend you that use minimum M20 grade concrete for RCC column which ratio is 1 1.5 ratio 3 here 1 is cement 1.5 is sand and 3 is crush or aggregate. Now guys, the fourth one is also very important because many civil engineering students, they are asking from me that sir, what's the spacing between two RCC column or span of two RCC column? It's very important. But here with thumb rule, up to five meter span for RCC column is quite safe. It's okay. But if you want to increase the span of RCC column, so it's depend on the cross-sectional area of column. But for normal rules, you can use up to 5 meter span between two RCC column, right? You can see with thumb rule, a column span up to 5 meter is quite safe. But if you want to increase 5 meter to 6, 7 or 8, so it's depend on the structure design and also it's depend on the cross-sectional area of RCC column, right? But you can use for 9 by 9 inch size, you can use 5 meter because it's quite safe for RCC column, right? Now here the fifth one, it's use 0.5 water ratio for concrete. Use 0.5 water ratio for concrete if you use here M20 grade concrete but I have already discussed that use minimum M20 grade concrete for RCC column okay but you take 0.5% of water ratio for M20 grade concrete right because we are using M20 grade concrete in RCC column here. Now here the sixth one is longitudinal steel bars in column should not be less than 0.8% our steel quantity should not be less than 0.8% of column cross-sectional area. You can see that longitudinal bars in column should not be less than 0.8% of cross-sectional area of column and it also should not be more than 6% of its cross-sectional area. Okay, minimum should be 0.8%. 
but it should not be more than 6% of cross sectional area of RCC column. It's very important. In uh, many interviews, they are asking from civil engineering students that what's the minimum and maximum steel quantity in RCC column of its cross sectional area, right? Now, here the seventh one is use 8 millimeter dia of steel bar use 8 millimeter dia of steel bar in lateral ties with the spacing of 150 millimeter suppose here this is rcc column and these are lateral ties you can see here so use here lateral ties dia should be 8 millimeter lateral ties in column but with spacing spacing between two lateral ties should be 150 millimeter right keep in your mind this point right now here the eighth one or the last one is use concrete cover for column between 25 millimeter to 35 millimeter so you can see this is rcc column and these are longitudinal bars so this cover should be between our concrete cover for column should be between 25 to 35 mm okay it's the range for concrete cover especially for rcc column so these are some basic rules which i've discussed the front of you so if you have any question about uh, this topic basic rule for design of rcc column so you must comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye